Hi everybody, Father Bill Holtzinger here, and this is your Friday Reflection. And oh, I hope this audio works this time. I have been going over this over and over. Last time I gave a recording or did a Friday Reflection, I did it three times, yeah, three times, and I think it was the fourth time that finally worked. Something about the microphone, the system, this is a new phone, a new operating system. I'm like, <sighs> So anyway, praise the Lord. Please, Lord, help this work. So today I want to talk about more of the Walker Road expansion. So last time I did talk about it coming closer to the parish buildings, specifically the parish offices, and that we would I would engage with what I call a dreaming committee. So I have actually then scheduled what I'm calling a dreaming summit for the committee. And I've been, I think I've talked to pretty much everybody that I wanted to have on the committee. There's some 25 to up to 27 persons on it from all kinds of walks of the parish from different ministries, from different ethnicities, different uh, interest groups, all kinds of things, you know, people that use the buildings. And what we're going to do is the following. We're going to meet, and this is going to happen through November. Hopefully we'll only use November for this dreaming part. From that, the, the meetings in the November time frame, the Dreaming Summit, I'm calling it, the folks will then, first of all, talk about what the mission is, what our priorities are, and then try to categorize or get those priorities somehow in some order so that we can understand with the Walker Road expansion happening, how do we need to respond in what order. And we're looking to really a 10 to 25 year kind of big picture of the parish. Of course, as we go further out like to 25 years, I probably won't even be here and the needs will have changed by then. But the archdiocese, when we meet with them for buildings and things like that, uh, having gone through this system or this approach myself before in my previous parish, they're going to ask, what is your long range plan? And that's, you know, what does the facilities look like 25 years from now? So that's kind of part of the bigger goal. So that means it's not going to conclude with absolutely this is how it has to be, but it does, it's going to give us some information from another to another committee that will follow after this regarding the actual architecture and location for whatever, like again, the parish office if we're moving it or extending it or whatever we're going to do. So in this first meeting, can we get those priorities? And that might take up the whole time just to figure that out. And uh, then after that, once we get that going, we may have another meeting then where we'll, again, it's very fluid, but we'll meet and have maybe a picture of the, the campus and have little thing, drawings where we might want to put things or talk about where things might go if they do and how they interrelate with each other because things, you know, one thing leads to another. If we have like now the, the offices are uh, right across the one of the, the driveways from the church. I know that in the previous uh, potential re relook or look at it with Father Dave's time was one idea was to put it out where the stations of the cross are, but the issue with that would be then you have to walk all the way across the parking lot to get to the church itself. And that's a lot of walking back and forth, let's say for the priest and anybody else that's a staff member. Um, but anyway, the idea is to get the pros and the cons of what might we use, uh, get not the detail of what's necessarily in them, but just ideas of where, what buildings we might need, how they might be augmented, where they might go. And again, it's all might. And we end with this, this idea that we can then give over to the next committee. The next committee being an architectural committee, where it's made up of a different group of people, maybe a subset of what's already gone through with the dreaming committee, but people that have expertise in the areas of of buildings and, and ownership and construction and all that kind of stuff just to get a sense of what's realistic what's something that's a f fantastically expensive that would be unrealistic etc and then play around with the ideas that were given to us um, from the dream committee and go that far that's again that's a whole other committee the dream committee the dreaming committee and the dreaming summit will be in november and maybe uh, one did one weekend on the uh, or was one meeting in December, but then we're going to take a break because of all the wonderful things going on in the parish, you know, all the the, the no November things, the Thanksgiving breaks, Christmas, first reconciliation services. It just gets busy in Advent, etc. And then when the new year comes in 2025, either January or February, we'll pick up with the idea of looking into this architectural committee, which will then kind of get more into the nitty gritty. Again, big picture as we start getting further out, it becomes very flexible because, you know, having done some of this before, it incarnates itself differently in every place. So what would follow after architecture kind of reflection is to actually engage with an architect, maybe consider talking to a contracting company, and then also a feasibility. Uh, our company will help us do a feasibility study and fundraising. Those kind of get 
mushed in together. Meanwhile, we're also talking to the Archdiocese Building Commission to get any advice that they'll have. Um, once we do have then possibly some idea for plans, uh, then we would do a fundraising campaign. Again, this is all big picture. Don't know when that'll be. It may not be 2025, it could be 2026. I mean, how, how far it goes, I don't know. Uh, be mindful, of course, that as I mentioned, Walker Road's expansion starts in this coming June and goes for two and a half years. I don't think we'll have a building done by the time all that's done, but we'll see. I have no idea. Again, everything's fluid as you get further out because a lot of unknowns. Uh, then once, you've, once we've done the campaign, the idea is to be able to secure the funds based on what the feasibility said uh, that we could do, then we can then start construction of whatever that is or you know, however we've discerned it to be and what's feasible for us. And then the actual construction occurs and we're done pretty much. Uh, you know, obviously the, the fundraising has to complete, et cetera. Uh, but um, my sense is that's so far out we're not really, I'm not really paying a lot of energy and attention to that part. The first thing is the first thing, which is a Dreaming Summit. So pray for this, a Dreaming Committee and Dreaming Summit that they will be participating in through the month of November. And um, it's going to be great. I, I enjoy doing this kind of stuff that is the dreaming and pondering and, uh, and then the details uh, with professionals that know what they're doing more than I do because I'm just, I'm a priest. So this weekend, uh, uh, Father Anthony is back and he will be preaching the homilies. And so I will look forward to seeing you uh, this weekend. All right. God bless. Bye-bye. Boy, I hope the audio worked this time. Oh, boy. Huh.